the last episode we got to the bronze slash steam age and today my plan is to continue that and work our way up to the lv age if we can but in between episodes i've went ahead and done a lot of exploring as you can see we have a lot of creative chests here our strong boxes i found myself some pure daisies i got myself a bunch of new ores that we're gonna go ahead and need today for example the air infused gems and i believe also one of these has the aqua infused gem ore as well and we're still missing quite a few things like for example the ignis the ordo and i believe we already have entropy we do have the entropy ore as well so that's pretty good right and i think the first thing that we should do though is we're gonna have to make the pure daisy oh something that i also got in between episodes is this mana bucket i went and found a mana pool so that way we can go ahead and get ourselves the mana bucket like so so now we have the mana bucket from wizardry infinitely as well and i guess what we're gonna need this for is making the pure daisy from botania if i go ahead and put this in here and we're gonna need to also go ahead and make the healing solvent so there's a few things that we need we need the healing solvent which is gonna need some dandelions some poppies some seeds in a bowl which i actually have to go back to the overworld and find the poppies and the dandelions with those acquired all i have to do is get some seeds really quickly and then i believe a bowl which i think is default right of course not why would that be default so a bowl is just gonna need a knife with a plank which kind of makes sense i should be able to take this and now make a bowl perfect one seed one poppy and then one of these guys the dandelions of course should make a healing solvent which is perfect this healing solvent will then be creative and also be put into making the pure daisy so the pure daisy just requires a oxide daisy and of course the healing solvent with a bit of mana and and that should be all we need let's see if that is the case let's go ahead and put this guy in here and then this guy in here perfect the pure daisy would you look at that so now with this guy being crafted what we should be able to do is i need to expand this grass area just a little bit with this grass area expanded what we'll do is place down our pure daisy like so and we will go ahead and grab some of our ore here this aqua infused ore and we're gonna go ahead and place this down surrounding the pure daisy as you can see it is transforming into the vis crystals which we need to go ahead and get into our which i'm gonna call it here our quest here which is interesting and just like that we now have the aqua crystals that we need for said bomb craft now let me go ahead and make sure that we <clears throat> creative this bad boy because these were really annoying to make and get let's go ahead and put that in there put that in there and then boom we now have the crystals and i think wait oh my god they give us oh god yes i was worried about this i was worried that i wasn't gonna be able to get them because i couldn't find the ore but looks like ftb was being a brother here and they gave us all the crystals for free or, or at least some which is good because dude finding these ores was a pain in the back Side. I'm gonna be honest. All right, let's go ahead and dive into Bombcraft here. We're gonna go ahead and need some more mana and a vis crystal of any type, it looks like. And it looks like local valence dust. Do I have any local valence dust on me? Probably not, but I have some right here. I guess we'll grab some Ignis crystals. That's fine. And we'll take our mallet, like so, put it in here, put our, our local valence dust, like so, and then like that. You are gonna need a little bit of mana. So let me go grab that i think let me grab a few buckets of that stuff where did i put it there it is let me grab like maybe like four ish buckets of this stuff and then because we're gonna need a lot of it i feel right let's go ahead and dump these in here and then that should be good to go yes and now we take this and make our sales mundus like
like so. And now we should be able to make our Thaumonomicon, I believe. This is how we make the Thaumonomicon. And we need to click this guy onto a bookshelf. Is that, unless if it's been changed for this mod pack. Uh, to begin your journey with the Eldritch Depths, uh, be warned, da, 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 da. It doesn't really, aha, it does say. And then we just need a saw, some books, and some planks. Okay, fair enough. Making bookshelves is relatively simple. Lovely. Dude, I kind of wish I've already got creative mode flying, but I don't really have that right now, unfortunately. There we go. The bookshelf. And then what I should be able to do is place this guy down like so. Click the Salus Mundus on top of it like so. And then that should give us the Thaumonomicon. So when we open this, boom, it's going to go ahead and bound to us, which is perfect. Now, I know I can just, you know, not do this, but I'm going to do it just for safety in case if i lose it because sometimes i do be losing stuff now for our first bit of thomcraft i think I think what we have to do is place on a crafting table and then also click it with the Salus Mundus. And then that should, in theory, turn into this arcane workbench, which is lovely. And now that we have that, hold on, pick this up because it's probably some sort of quest that we got to do. We also need it for the Thaumonomicon thing right here. Complete, perfect. And then it wants us to make this stuff. We need to get to the, which I'm gonna call it thing, mana orb from wizardry and gold plates okay that's gonna be easy so we need to find out what the heck a mana orb is first of all a mana orb 100 is going to be a glass orb dropped into probably what i guess is a mana pool so glass panes wait are glass panes changed in this pack so glass panes are a saw plus okay so perfect so we need glass and then once we do that we saw it together and then we should in theory get what we need so it looks like we have to make the iron saw from greg tech which is not bad so to make that i'm gonna need a few things which i currently do not have which is kind of annoying to deal with but we can deal with it. So I need one iron ingots, first of all, which means I'm gonna have to go find my iron blocks, which are here, beautiful. Give me a few iron ingots like so. And then once we do that, I need to take this and I need to hammer it out like so. And then once we do that, I'm gonna take that and turn it into a file. That's step number one, right? making this tool here and then once we do that which is easy so there's your file we're gonna need a hammer and then we're gonna need two more iron plates which is easy enough one two and then we're gonna need our hammer our file some sticks and then those two iron plates and that should in theory make our saw like so and then once we do that we create a bit and then now I'm, I should be able to make the glass panes that we need for the craft here. And then that's going to make an orb, four of them. Now I do have a genuine question here. So if I do something like, I mean, I guess I could do something like this, where I basically do like a plus shape minus one in the middle here. And then we get a block of mana or a bucket of mana. And we basically, which I'm going throw the orbs inside of it. I'm pretty sure that is how we're meant to get the, uh, the mana orbs, but I could be wrong here. So if I drop these in here, yes, beautiful. Oh God, I can't get out. Oh God, I'm flying. Oh no. Okay, so all we gotta do is make some gold plates, which should be relatively simple. All we gotta take is our iron hammer like so. I believe it was four. And then we take our mana orb like so and surround it like this. This actually probably needs to be done in the, which I'm gonna call it, this table over here, the arcane table. So if I look here, I'm actually probably gonna need, yeah, it doesn't say that I need any of this crystals. So let's find out here. So one mana orb plus four of these should make this guy beautiful. And now we have the Thaumonama meter and we gotta just continue pushing on through Thaumcraft here. 
So let's go ahead and complete that. Okay, so if I do something like this, I wonder if, okay, so it doesn't look, oh, nope, there it is. And I wonder, I guess, yeah, we just gotta do this. Just spam it, essentially. And then we'll hopefully get what we need. Now that I've scanned all the chests, I should be able to come here and complete this bad boy like so. I wonder, actually, the quest book does offer a skip research, I believe. If I remember correctly, I hate research. This quest wheel is entirely optional. Yes. Okay, so let's go and grab the research table. And it does look like they gave us paper and more food, by the way. Dude, we have so much food that we've been kind of saving. I do want to create of all these foods just for the fun of it. And it gave us a blacker lotus. So I'm wondering if that's important. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> make sure that I go ahead and creative that just in case if I need it. I assume it's for black dye. Yeah, black dye for the scribing table or something, right? So looking over here, we're missing one thing. Thamanomicon liquid starlight bucket which so we need a light well what does that have anything to do with what we're doing oh do i actually need to do astro sorcery as well okay so i need marble sooty marble okay i do have some marble cobbled stone i thought somewhere that's white wool i wonder if i can smelt that down into anything so it looks like to make the marble that we need we need porcelain bricks around the pure daisy so if i come over here and place this down it should convert into marble so i forgot that we have an actual like which i'm gonna call it astral temple right by our house which means i could grab marble from that which is interesting i'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> make sure i creative that but at the same time we're probably also gonna need the greg tech marble as well and i did in between episodes find a village but i didn't grab the furnace from the blacksmith so i have to go back over there to get that furnace back because there's no way for us to make a furnace right now other than you know at lv with cobblestone and we can't do it there's no like steam assembler unfortunately so can be looted in villages if you simply must have one uh sprinkle some sailors mondays on a fun fire bricks will do the trick so the marble i don't even remember why we wanted the marble in the first place oh right was it for the research table from this guy here from thomcraft it's something to do with thomcraft so oh right no astral sorcery is what it was for right because we need the marble and then we need the sooty marble which i don't even think i can make i can so i gotta take my arcane ash and then i gotta take some low grade charcoal which god i've gotta find that so what we should do is take our marble like so and then that should give me the sooty marble that we need go ahead and continue with astro sorcery here so let's go ahead and voice this bad boy down like so and then give it a creative upgrade like so and then sooty marble like so and this is gonna need mana of course so sooty marble we are gonna need a crafting table so let's go ahead and grab another one of those bad boys and then and I guess a bunch of marble. Oh, does it matter? Like I said, it probably wants the freaking the marble pillars is what it wants. So that means I need to take my chisel and chisel this into marble pillars, which is where. Oh, great. Now I got to freaking find it. OK, we have engraved marble. Let's try that. Oh, it needs a saw. That's why I'm not paying attention. Boom. Would you look at that? We've now got our very first astral sorcery crafting table, which is going to be needed for making the light wells oh boy iron plates those guys oh god rock crystals Urgh, how the heck do i even get rock crystals that's gonna be another question i have dimensional shard or marble 
remember aqua marine okay so it seems like we're not even meant to be doing this right now that's what it feels like so i guess we continue on this way discovery we've completed ish and it wants a crucible which i believe if i'm not wrong crucibles need cauldrons which we happen to find in the what you call it overworld one day so let's do that that's gonna get us the crucible and then once we do this we have this now and then that's gonna need that okay so we're trying to get to the brass which is right here perfect so we want a chemical brass okay so does that mean that we've unlocked that does that mean we can actually see it now we can so copper ingot into the thing which needs instrumentum oh no i okay this is gonna be rough because okay let's i guess start from the back page here and then that should be fine i guess bronze foil has it i think our best option here is a bronze foil and we would need four of that so bronze if i understand correctly uh let's grab ourselves oh did i not teach you how to make bronze and get yet probably not because we didn't have the ingot cast so now that we have the ingot cast i can totally teach you how to make the bronze ingots okay so with the bronze ingots i should be able to turn this into bronze plates and then i think the plates get hammered into foil yes beautiful and then all we gotta do is get ourselves some ice really quickly with some of the emc that we have place it down break it of course get in the water that we need oh you know what we do need to set a fire underneath this i just remembered this for some reason and i guess we can easily do that that shouldn't be too difficult of a task so all i gotta do is get myself some cobblestone you know what we can probably even use low grade charcoal as a kind of whatchamacallit thingy here oh and okay interesting and then i guess we're gonna need some low grade charcoal so to do that i gotta go over here somewhere and find my low grade charcoal place this down right here and i guess what we can do is uh light it with some fire sticks which is gonna require some sticky poos like so one two make a fire starter start the fire like so and then do something like that and then that should heat up the water in the crucible we go ahead and melt down these bronze foils and then we just need to throw in a copper ingot to go ahead and get our brass ingot so where is my copper ish ingot you know what probably over here in this chest yes beautiful now i do gotta hurry because this will dissipate so if i do that am i crazy i need you to see what's inside of here i could have sworn i threw that in there there you go there is our first alchemical brass now we do got to be careful because that will eventually make alchemical mess and then we're in trouble then we're gonna have like a flux mass and it's not gonna be great at all you know what i just thought about doing i just thought about upgrading our chests so to do that we can actually easily do that by making some iron plates like so and then taking our gold and making some gold plates as well and then the gold plates plus the iron plate will give us the iron to gold chest upgrade which we can pop on our chest to upgrade it even more okay just for funsies let's just do all that ow i'm on fire ow i'm on fire why am i on fire why am i on fire oh i got redstone for free oh it's the freaking lava cells you son of a turd oh my god they gave us a lot of cool stuff what the heck hold on i digress we did just get redstone though which is pretty big i feel uh is there anything that i realistically need right this second from this chest that I can't grab later probably not so i am gonna grab this alchemical oh, brass actually I, don't, I probably don't need actually you know what i do need actually from this this uh chest my quest book okay so the next step is going to go ahead and be to make brass plates which is going to be easy let me grab the alchemical brass from over here i think it's this one. Oh my god this yeah this whole like chest thing is pretty crazy okay so let's go ahead and get our brass place going i'll make 16 for now there we go beautiful and that's gonna unlock us i believe the bricks bronze hall which requires bricks bronze plates 
and then okay so brass plates so we are gonna need some more bricks so give me some of those that's gonna be relatively cheap to make so let's go ahead and do that and then we just need bronze plates which needs bronze that's copper bronze ingots it's way at the back here so i guess we can delete those because we don't need those and then you're gonna need a few bronze plates so let's go ahead and get again 16 should be okay for now like so take this put this in the middle one brass plate a few bronze plates and then a few brick at the bottom the brick bronze hall which is going to allow us to um <clears throat> make some machinery here which is good that's what we want so you give me this guy which means we can make our very first machine here which is going to be oh wait hold on do we want the i guess we do want the high pressured smelter don't we uh we can't make it right now we can only make the normal one for now which is fine so small bronze pipes a brick ball okay that's actually relatively cheap and you know what we're starting to use a lot of bricks so maybe it's time that we do a little bit of the creativing of the bricks because we are going to use quite a bit of them now so there we go some bricky boys and then we need these bronze fluid pipes which are actually relatively easy and cheap to make thankfully they're small pipes but they're pipes nonetheless but give me a hammer here and then we're gonna need some more bronze pipes there you go a wrench and a hammer that's gonna make a small bronze fluid pipe i wonder if i can make a bigger one right now so bronze fluid pipe i wonder if i can make like a bronze fluid pipe i mean i technically can to make the other one wait right for this one yeah let's go with the normal one for now because the normal one's so much better it uh outputs a lot more steam which is what we're gonna want here if we're gonna be running multiple machines out of this now i do want to get it started so what we're gonna do i guess is i'm gonna place it here i'm gonna place like three of these boilers down like so and refresh me on how these work again so i can only pipe in from the bottom but if i do that and then i hope it auto outputs i want to say it does and then all we gotta do is oh wait we do need the little ones i forgot the little ones are gonna help us make the machinery that we need for example the alloy smelter and the reason why i want to you know target the alloy smelter first is because i want to be able to make red alloy and red alloy will give me access to the portable tank from thermal series which will give me access to infinite fluids which is so nice so let's go ahead and grab this guy and let's get ourselves alloy furnace from or alloy smelter sorry from this guy so it's going to be the steam alloy furnace the very basic run of the mill one like so and i guess we're gonna have to just feed in water for now into these guys now this is gonna need a way to <clears throat> burst out the steam so let's make sure that we configure that and then i don't think i have coal yet i didn't go and get the coal from the oil sands vein so oak planks it is now to make red alloy i'm pretty sure all we need is redstone with a little teeny bit of copper so not bronze oopsie and i think we should be able to make ourselves some red alloy as soon as this heats up and gives us some steam now is it using the water no because it's not heated up white yet okay let me get some more water in this because i don't want to have it explode on me so yeah and just like that we are now making ourselves some red alloy perfect oh okay this is gonna unlock quite a bit for us now i'm actually a bit concerned if i'm gonna need a pump or not for this so let's go ahead and grab this let's go ahead and put this freaking away okay we're gonna need quite a bit of stuff actually now that i think about it things like gold we're gonna need iron as well oh yeah we're gonna need a lot of stuff so yeah let me also grab a oh no i already have a wrench and i already have a hammer okay perfect let's go ahead and make the portable tank so starting with copper i'm gonna need some copper let's get the copper plates involved uh how many am i gonna need five or so 
it looks like there we go the five copper plates we're gonna need the ring which is gonna need a rod i'm gonna need a file which lucky for us we've already went ahead and made right here beautiful and then that's gonna make the iron stick that we need and then the iron stick is gonna get hammered out into a ring like so and the only thing that is left is making the red alley wires which means i'm gonna need to make a wire cutter which oh boy oh that's gonna be easy not the power unit just a normal wire cutter okay so yeah this is all easy stuff this is stuff that we've already done in the nami factory world all i gotta do is get myself some iron where's my iron here iron rods like so and then we'll take half of those and cut them into bolts and then those bolts will then get filed again into screws and then all i realistically need is some piping or some plating rather and then we should have everything that we need minus a screwdriver which the screwdriver might be oh yeah that's easy it's just gonna need okay that's fair uh i'm gonna need two more of these rods like so and then turn that into sticks and then where's the hammer go on the bottom okay so that plus two rods the file and then the hammer makes a screwdriver which we're gonna need and then that screwdriver is going to help us make the wire cutters. Let's also get this ready for when we need to <clears throat> put in the thing here. So a screwdriver. And then we should have everything we now need. All the tools. So the wire cutter. We want an iron one. Which I got to find in this mess. Oh, there it is. There's our wire. Our iron wire cutter. Jeez, that's really hard to say. There you go. And then this, once we get some red alloy plates like so, should, in theory, get us what we need. Other way, that plus the ring will give us this, which will then give us that. And then I'm missing two glass. And boom, we have the, whatchamacallit. And now we have the creative fluid and also the portable tank. Where did that go? There you go, portable tank lovely and then i think what i'm gonna do play it smart ouch that actually hurts okay so yeah we've got plenty enough water still so what i'll do is oh i forgot this auto output steam we technically don't even need this anymore we have infinite steam now now here's the question though how the heck am i gonna get it out of this tank that's another question i guess i can do this now right we've got a steam bucket Oh, you know what that actually might keep the fluids it does oh that's genius oh that's so genius but unfortunately guys that is where we're gonna have to wrap up today's episode because we are out of time for today's episode as always guys if you guys did enjoy today's episode please do me a huge favor smash the like button smash the subscribe button ding down that notification bell become a part of the hunter tribe as always guys and i love you i'm gonna leave you till next time Bye. -bye.